guys what's up it's Bree. welcome back to my channel so you guys i've been on a roll with these foundations and concealer reviews so today i'm going to be reviewing some of the new elf elf yes 16 camo concealer this is new from elf they also came out with a foundation that's called the flawless finish finish foundation i don't know if this is new but I don't remember saying it. I'm probably kind of late. I really don't be checking for e.l.f. like that. But I did see this on Trend Mood. So I was like, you know what? You know what? Let's give it a try. So um, I did pick up two. And I also picked up this foundation. I picked up two concealers. And I also picked up the foundation. The color foundation I picked up um is caramel i think this is gonna be too light for me i'm almost certain it's gonna be too light for me and i'm not gonna even i'm not even gonna bother with it because if it's too light i'm probably not gonna like it so maybe i'll use i don't know first of all let's prime the skin the primer i'm gonna use today is my milani primer i've really been liking this primer y'all it feels like a moisturizer. It's not like silicone-y, and I like that about it. Let me push my hair to the back, guys. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this primer. Not a lot. I'm really more focused, I mean, shout out to the foundation, but I'm more focused on the concealer. Um, I did um, swatch this concealer the other day on my hand and I noticed it was kind of drying. It kind of reminds me of Tarte concealer. It's probably a dupe for Tarte. So I'm going to make sure I moisturize underneath the eye really good. Skin. If you guys are enjoying these type of reviews, let me know guys. Talk to me. Let me know if I'm doing a good job because I just been trying to give you guys like really good videos and they're good to me but i want to make sure they're good to you guys and are you interested in a fashion video is on its way it's probably going to be posted before this video so okay here's the elf flawless finish foundation that is way too light for me so i'm gonna mix it in hmm i'm trying to think do i want to mix it in with let me see Okay, I'm going to mix it in with my NYX foundation. So I'm not really doing like a review on this foundation because I'm mixing it in. But I want to give it a try. So I mixed it in with my Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I should have got like a shade darker. But I don't know. I ordered from Ulta and I picked the wrong shade. I got the right color concealer, but the foundation, I did get the wrong shade it doesn't look bad at all that's because i mixed um that can't stop once stop foundation with it it does smell like foundation it doesn't have a weird smell I really love the cancer. My skin is breaking out right here, you guys. I don't know what's going on with it, but I just got to give myself a facial. You see that right there? I don't know. And maybe I'll do a video on like skincare and what I do when um, my face decides to break out like that. So, you guys, it's been almost a week with me wearing this. Well, it's been over a week now that I'm wearing this frontal. And I can honestly say that I like it. I like frontals now. I really do. Um, You just got to know how to do your edges. I feel like I did my edges okay. Like, I feel like it looks pretty natural. It probably don't look as natural when Kira did it. But I'll learn eventually. But I like the way I stop my edges as well. It's a little bit more. I like both ways. I like the way she do it and I like the way I did it. Um, I'll get better. I see a little bit lace right there, but I'm not tripping over it. <laughs> okay, still. so that's the foundation, guys. 
it's a little bit on more on the thicker side but I only put a little bit on. I didn't go overboard on it. So this is what I'm excited about. So I got the shade Deep Olive. And these retail for about, I think $5 or $5.99. And this one is a olive gold. Oh, that's such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh, I love that color. It says olive, but I don't see that it has green. It looks so golden. Oh my gosh, I love that color. And this color here is called Deep Chestnut. That's a beautiful color here too. I don't know which one I want to use. Okay, so let's use Deep Ch Chestnut. This is so similar to Tarte Concealer. The consistency of it, the one, it kind of reminds me of Tarte. I don't know if it's, it's full coverage as tart. And this is the deep chestnut that I'm using. But the concealer, the way it applies on the skin, is definitely reminding me of, of tart. I can tell you that this concealer does oxidize. And I know that because when I swatched it and I let it dry, it kind of oxidized. Um, so it does oxidize and it gets really, really dry, dry. So that's why it reminds me of Tarte as well. And look how big the one is. That's pretty big. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this in because I don't know if it dries down quick. So I want to make sure I blend it in. That blended out really, really good. Okay, okay, okay. I could have went lighter because this shade is almost like my complexion, but I do like it. So far, it's doing amazing and it's blending out. Now, it's not as creamy as the new Milani concealer. It's more like on a stiffer side. It feels just like Tarte. It feels just like Tarte concealer. Okay, I'm going to take this same color. I mean, I'm going to take the olive color. And I'm going to put it here because I want to lighten it up a little bit. Because that deep chestnut is like the same complexion as my skin. So I'm going to blend this out with like a drier beauty blender. This is super golden. Super, super golden. If you are like a NW45 from MAC, this kind of looks just like the matte concealer as well. Where is my matte concealer? It looks like that color. See, this is the matte concealer. It's kind of like an olive color like that. Kind of. The matte concealer is a little bit more orangey, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, this has like a real golden. I do see the green a little bit, the olive color. But it's not too green that it looks weird. You know? Oh, okay. Elf, I have never seen Elf concealer like this. So they definitely is stepping it up. As you guys can see that it's drying. It's like really almost dry. And I haven't even set it down with powder. You see how dry that look? But it don't look creasy. It's just dry. Like it's not like... A creamy creamy concealer it's more like a drier concealer that's why it reminds me of Tarte this is the Tarte concealer it even have the same one this concealer is super drying um the Tarte concealer may be a little more drying but this elf concealer is super dry which not which is not a bad thing just make sure you moisturize your skin really well okay 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 and you due to the fact that this concealer is super dry um i'm just gonna push that in um i'm not gonna use a lot of powder underneath the eye guys because it's super dry underneath the eye so you don't want to use like a whole bunch of powder so i'm gonna go ahead and take um my sasha buttercup powder of course mixed with my ColourPop powder 
just a little bit guys like because this concealer is super drying and you don't want your under eye to look too creasy okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna buff that in push that in I'm not gonna let it set because if you let it set and your concealer is super dry you're gonna get creases and I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll be back with like my final review on how I feel about the concealer guys okay guys thank you guys so much for watching this video I'm gonna go change clothes but um I honestly don't have anything negative to say about the concealer I do feel like to see it dries down see it oxidized a little bit as you guys can see that's the mac one but these two is the elf so it dries down really really good so i do feel like this concealer will last all day but it does dry down so you probably want to get a shade up if you want it to highlight so i really like these shades i do feel like this concealer is gonna last all day it does put me in the mind of tarte i do think it's about 3.99 I think it's $3.99, but it's super affordable. Um, I got mine from Ulta, and I think you guys should give it a try. Um, I like the colors, and it says 16 hour wear. I do feel like this concealer is going to last all day. Um, don't use a lot of powder because it's a dry consistency. So you don't have to use too much powder. So I do recommend that you guys pick that up. super affordable um i still like my milani concealer better because this one is a little dry but you know what it does not crease so i kind of like it y'all i like it it's super dry so if you have oily skin this will work perfect for you but if you don't want your under eye to look too dry i do recommend that you use a moisturizer underneath the eye area before or you can even add a little oil to do to the concealer and put it on that way but i really like the concealer i have nothing negative to say thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it go ahead and thumbs up this video make sure you turn your bell on so you can get all my videos